Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel. And well you guys, today is going to be a completely faceless, at least my face, video. Um, I have got some projects going on. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, like maybe you're like me, you can't really afford to do a lot of stuff. So I was just going to kind of show you guys. So then, um, some little projects I'm doing with a couple of my dolls today. And so, I this is a big bowl of we need this kind of stuff. Yes, it's a we need you bowl. Um, and we will get on to that, but let me move Gio back a little bit. And let me grab, oh, sorry you guys are seeing the camera shake. And let me scoot these guys all back. And here we go and let me check the camera that way maybe you guys could see um, Harley a little bit more so Harley is my Ivita silicone and well I gave her a bath and I didn't show giving her a bath necessarily on camera for the sake of time for what we got going on today but let me turn her this away and get her diaper on real quick. All right, you guys. So, here is Harley. She had a bath, but I do have cats and dogs, and so I need to get her powder right away. But I don't have a makeup brush. No, I don't. This brush may not necessarily be very strong, but the powder with it should help. Um, but I've got a fan brush. It's a makeup brush, it's just it's a fan brush. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. Um, but anyway, before as I'm powdering Harley real quick for you guys, and then we'll get Harley dressed, um, let's go ahead and I wanted to give you guys a friendly reminder that we will be going alive. That's right, this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Central for all of my Cloud Insiders and six or five o'clock. Oh my goodness, you guys, have it, have it. Um, five o'clock central for everyone else and so that is the new times to see if maybe some more people can join us for the live um, I know I tend to catch everybody right at dinner time and so I don't mean to do that and so I did powder in her diaper already so this is working out okay it really is um, really I've had to not have a brush at all I couldn't find a brush to save my life around my house and I had to just put it on and kind of rub it in with my hands before, you know. Um, and really with Harley, um, the thing about Harley is I do not um, mess with her that that much. Um, probably as much as I should. Sorry, I'm getting her little head, her little ears, inside her little ears. So, as much as I should, but she is actually a Ivita silicone. And the, I think that I would probably like a silicone baby a little bit more if it had armatures where I can maybe pose it, maybe set it up if I want. Um, there's nothing wrong with the babies that lay down all the time, you know, but sometimes I want to do more besides just, you know, have my baby laying down. You know, I want to do more with it. So, that's my only complaint with Harley here, is that's all I can kind of do with her, is just kind of lay her down. And But she's just so stinking cute, and she looks like a doll, you guys. She does not look realistic. Um, but that's okay with me, because um, it is a way for me to check if I like silicone. You know, pretty much. That's what this was for. And yes, you guys, it is... A powder extravaganza. That's right. We like that word, extravaganza. Right? Make sure her little hands are out of the way. Blend in the powder. You okay, Geo? Poor Geo. She's right in the powder mist. That's okay. She'll smell like powder. All right. I will be right back, you guys. All right. I am back, and I have got outfits for all babies. Yes, I do. And believe this is what I got for Harley here so another thing that I wanted to remind you guys of is this week's Maddie Monday is subscriber appreciation day so um, 
I am going to do my Maddie Monday on Tuesday and I'm going to recreate one of your guys' themes. So I am super excited um, to do that. I like doing that with you guys because um, I really enjoy seeing your guys' creativity and kind of what you come up with. And I'm going to just put my hand over her hand. And then that's the one thing about silicones is their fingers and stuff like that is very, very delicate. So um, I just kind of use my hand to guide the fingers, hold the fingers, and guide it through. <laughs> We are almost done with Harley, you guys. And then once we get done with Harley, we are going to reweight a couple of babies. Yes, that is right. But I wanted to go ahead and get Harley a good bath and get her powdered and get her changed. And we're not going to do the socks and get a little bow on her. And there we go. There is. Harley. So let me do this. Just make sure you guys can see her. Okay, so let me go ahead and move Harley's stuff and Harley out the way here for a second. It's okay if she gets some extra powder and I will be right back with you guys. Alright, we are back. And uh, we're going to bring that out now. And so the first one that I wanted to show is a Geo. And so I have been talking about forever and a day re-weighting Geo. And well, I am a lot more pleased with her without beating. She seems a lot more snuggly, you guys, to me. And she's easier to handle. Um, so what I did today is I wanted to re-weight a couple of my baby babies. And I wanted to take some weight out of Geo and um, also Isabella which I will show you Isabella here shortly, but here is Geo, all good and fine. Yes, she says, I am good, everybody. And then, let me set Geo over here to the side. And then, oh, she lost her little hairband. Oh my goodness, we cannot have that, Isabella. We cannot have this. And then the next one that I wanted to show is Isabella and I did the same thing with Isabella as I took whoa she she's trying to roll it fully out of my arms I took weight out of her and um, made her where she's more floppier and more movable and she's not as heavy so I really um, like that and so let me set Isabella over here to the side okay so that is where all of this came into play but I think what I'm doing is just getting out four of my um, weight I'm not gonna I think what I've decided to do is what I've been doing lately with my dolls on my weighting technique now um, everybody's different everybody um, likes to weight their dolls differently but for me um, I like the simple fact of um make sure she could be seen okay and she can okay so what I've been doing lately with my dolls you guys is um oh, it can't stop. Oh, nothing okay go baby anyway what I have been doing is leaving their limbs hollow um if it's a baby baby weighting their head and weighting their body but leaving the rest of it hollow so with that being said, the only thing I'm going to take off of each doll is their head. I'm not going to try to do anything with their um, arms or legs unless it needs to be done. Um, and that way, it kind of is less stuff I'm doing. Like, because honestly, my zip ties is not the tiniest zip ties. So, they're a little bit bigger than what I like to use, but that's okay. It works for this purpose. Okay, you guys. So, here is the horrifying part for baby number one. If you don't want to see this, then look away. As a matter of fact, I'll just put her in my lap. And, well, hmm.
a horrifying part. Okay. So let me make sure that Faith can be seen. And this is Faith. This is my little Willow. Willa. Okay. So she can be seen. Sorry, now my big head is in the way. And like I said, the only thing that I want to do with her is put some weight in her head. So I'm going to remove the stuff in her head. And there you go. She's all hollow. So now what I want to do is I want to take the smaller of my weight bags. Okay. And I have got one side um, rubber band. And I did that because um, this probably came from another makeover project, honestly. And let's see how I can maneuver this. So I'm just going to try to gently maneuver this into the head. making sure you guys were in frame so as you can see it's in there and I was able to tie the end of that pantyhose and so I want her to flop back now I'm going to just start putting her stuffing back in so I'm going to go ahead and speed up and hopefully I have picked out some really cool music that you guys will enjoy listening to are back and her head is very very heavy very nicely weighted so now what I'm going to do like I said I'm leaving the rest of her hollow so I'm going to take some uh, I'm going to take all the stuffing out of her body actually um, and this is also a good way if you're unsure of what's inside your dolls to see what's inside your dolls um, I I have been meaning to wait um, faith here and I was going to do one of my boys like Cyrus, um, but I decided to go ahead and do the Babeside Baby because I want to see what's inside the Babeside Baby. Okay, so I she does have some weighting, and which is very nice whenever they do have um, a little weight bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right back inside of her because I want her to be nice and weighted so we're going to do that and then I'm going to go ahead and just put some stuffing back in but I'm going to be putting her a little bag in here shortly so I am maneuvering that more towards the hiney there and just putting her stuffing back in around her 
legs because I could feel her joints. So, making sure I'm still filming. It looks like a hot mess, don't it, you guys? You guys know how it is. When I start thinking, it can get pretty um, dangerous. That's right. Okay. And let's go ahead and just take off her diaper just so that we can make sure that the booty is looking like a booty and not like, you know, something. I want her to be a chunky baby a little bit more. So there we go. Okay, so that is her um, body so far. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same thing. Try to maneuver it in. I was able to do it with the last one, so I'm pretty sure I can do it with this one. And easy enough. It's already in. Okay. And I'm limited. I mean, I'm not limited. You guys see I have a Ziploc baggie full of beads, but I don't have any pantyhose. And I have um, used socks. Um, I have used Ziploc bags, but you guys, they just don't work. They still leak. Um, the glass beading will still, still leak out. So I want to go just a little bit more on her backside. All right, so I'm gonna leave her kind of, kind of loose up here, and let me get a zip tie, you guys. So, let me make sure she can be seen. <laughs> yes, you guys, I'm gonna try really hard to make sure you guys are seeing her good. Anyway, okay, so I kind of left some um, spacage up here by her shoulders for um, maneuvering things around, maybe or. Let me see. Yeah, she'll be floppy. Okay, and so I got two zip ties. And like I said, I recommend if anybody's doing this, if you've got um, smaller zip ties at home, use them. I mean, just use what you got. Um, if you were really, really creative, you could maybe thread a needle or something. And I don't know how. So do not quote me on that, please. Um, because I don't know if I could do it. But anyway, um, okay, making sure she is on and, okay, anyway, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend smaller zip ties than what I'm using, um, because they're kind of big, especially for my little dolls like this, my little baby dolls. Um, they are, they tend to be a little big, but, and I'm going to try to see if this will wrap all the way around, and it does. So that's what I try to do, is I try not to cut if I can. Anyway, oh my goodness, let me feel her now. Oh, you guys. Oh, Faith. Hello, sweet girl. I kind of like leaving their limbs hollow. Anyway, she's definitely a floppy girl now. Okay, let me go ahead and get her dressed. And so let's see, what else did we talk about? Oh, Nanny Story Time will be um, up. Let's see, this is filmed Wednesday, but it will be up uh, Thursday. So Friday is Nanny Storyboard, and it is a mystery, you guys, with Macy and Jordan. That's right, it has been a while. Since okay, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm looking around. Okay, I think I wanted face. Oh my goodness, you guys, give me a second. Let me look. Okay, I wanted this and this. Okay, this and this, and this did not go on any. Okay, so with faith, I wanted. Well, my goodness, did I not grab her a okay? Well, she's gonna be a bunny today. So we, I guess I didn't grab her pajamas. I thought I did. I really thought I grabbed her some pajamas. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I was going to go with the bunny theme. Anyway.
another thing is what I was talking about is Nanny storyboards. You guys are going to be very, very, very surprised. I can't. I uh, it, it's. I can't believe it's been this long. So it's. That's all I'm going to say about it, you guys. Um. Oh my goodness. Of course, Rebecca has trouble with buttons and zippers and you name it. We have trouble with it. Anyway. I'm just teasing you guys. Anyway, so that is coming up Friday. And then I would like to do a So Witch em Up Saturday. Um, this Saturday. And I do have some dolls in mind. But I'm not going to be um, talking about the dolls that I have in mind right now. Because I will save that for a story time um, with you guys sometime. For sure. Okay. What have I done? Okay, no, I have not done anything wrong. Okay, she's upside down to me, so I'm just making sure. I'm, I don't know where that button there goes, but we're just going to do it like this. Because Mommy can't see into it. Babe. Look how cute she looks, you guys. I fattened her face up a little bit with the poly feel. She's got powder on her. I fattened her little face up a little bit, and she's totally floppy and heavy. Oh, my goodness. Let me get her a little... Pass the clip back on. Make sure, yes, you guys are still filming. Keeping an eye on the camera. Making sure you guys are still with me. Let's make sure I didn't mess up her magnet. No, I didn't. And here we go. I wanted to put bunny ears on her in honor of, well, it's not really bunnies. It looks like bunnies, but it's not bunnies, you guys. It's teddy bears. But we're just going to pretend like Rebecca knew what she was doing when I did this. Oh, my goodness. And look at face. Oh, she feels so good, you guys. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me get set up for baby number two, which is Bayside. All right, you guys. And here we are back with Nevea. And well, you guys, I'm, I'm not doing this because there is anything wrong with her. I just want to make that clear. For me, she it would be fine. If I had no choice but to leave um, this doll just like she came to me, I'm okay with it. But I do want to weight her down. I really, really do. She's a chunky baby, and I want more of a realistic feel. I love this doll. For any of you, um, you guys, don't forget, Cloud Kid... Coupon code gets you 20% off at Babeside. That's right, you guys. Um, so maybe jump on that if you want one of her. She is definitely well worth it, you guys. She's definitely well worth it. So the same thing with her is... I'm sorry, I'm putting her up on my lap for a second, you guys. I'll play some music for you. All right, and here we are a bag. And so this is kind of nice. Um, it actually has like a hard plastic um, cat. That's actually really nice. I like that. But the same thing is going to go here for, let me make sure she's in frame. I'm all just blabbing to you guys. I want to make sure, okay, yes, as long as I stick right here, you guys can see her. Okay. Anyway, I am... Um, I wasn't, like, I'm not worried about anything that comes out of this doll. And like I said, if I had to leave her just the way that her beautiful little self is right now at this moment, I would actually be okay with her. So if, for anybody that maybe was considering it, maybe thinking about getting her, I would. I would. And that's just my personal opinion. Um, I make no money whatsoever, you guys from any, if you go by her, I know nothing about it. I will not know unless you share that little detail with me. Um, the coupon code is totally, um, it doesn't do nothing. It's for you guys. Okay. Empty, empty, empty. It's um, literally for you guys. So, um, with that being said, let me speak, let me put on some music and let me start working the beating in. Right. 
again I love it I love it she's gonna be nicely weighted so I'm gonna go ahead and put back the stuffing that came out of her I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back into her and I want to kind of chunk her up a little bit so something that I've make sure yes you guys I'm sorry I had to stop and make sure that my camera's still going um, one thing that I noticed that I actually kind of started doing and actually enjoy doing is kind of chunking my dolls up with um, polyfill if I don't really have like a lot of weighting or um, anything like that it's good to I can kind of put a little extra polyfill in their cheeks or maybe a little extra polyfill in their little foreheads or the top of their heads or whatever okay so that's how much they had and I could stop there if I wanted but you know I don't because we do want I do want some chunky chunk to her I want some chunky chunk to my girl here yes I want her little cheekies to have some just like we was talking about I'm gonna use kind of try to work some polyfill right there in those cheeks just to kind of fill her out a little bit more so anyway I do not make anything you guys um, from the coupon code or anything so when I'm telling you um, that you know if you guys have been looking at her she's to me she's well worth the money Um, she was like $59.99 you know um, I want to say she's $59.99 normally so um, I'm not sure that could be a sale now you guys I, I could I could be telling you guys a fib and it could be like maybe she was on sale for 59 but in any case and um, if you guys have been thinking about it I definitely would really consider her because I actually think she's adorable and look I filled her out a little bit um, one cheek looks a little bit more so let me just put a little bit of that away there we go oh look at her look at her little cheeks okay nice waiting so again make sure yes you guys okay so um again I probably could loosen up her um her um limbs but I'm not getting I just this is like a simple modification job I'm not um, trying to go all and I, plus like I said with my zip ties being kind of as big as they are I um, definitely don't want to take off her limbs okay so okay, a little bit more all right and so I'm gonna make sure we're still stuffing okay we are gonna go ahead and put this one in Sorry, you guys, I have to put it up close to me. So I got her waiting in, and I'm trying to kind of even distribute it out. Yes, that feels nice. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead. She's going to be a heavy girl. She is going to live up to her chunkiness now. That is right. So now I'm just putting the polyfill that I got back out of her just right back in because, you know, I think it's just perfectly fine. And yes, you guys are still with me. Just making sure you guys are still with me. And I'm kind of making sure I get all around her joints, um, but I don't want to over like stuff either. So I got to be careful of that. I'm terrible about overstepping my dolls. I don't mean to. I just okay. So I feel she needs some back here. Um, I didn't take her diaper off because really um, past a certain point I didn't take no polyfill out. So. Right now, I'm just kind of covering up her little bean bag, is what I'm doing. And oh yes, she is feeling very nice. Yes, very very nice. Okay, so she's still floppy, still floppy. But I'm just gonna put a little bit in her arm joints here, and just a little bit under. Well, they got very nice nice polyfill. Um, babe side does because um, it feels really nice going back in her soft and everything so that um, is good okay all right let's see okay 
Okay. I feel like I need to just kind of distribute this polyfill that's already in her a little bit better around her bean bag. Okay. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? I heard that one of the tricks to Floppy Baby is leaving it kind of loose around the very top. So, okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so, put her up here on my lap so I can see you guys. We'll play some music now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm just maneuvering her stuff around a little bit. And I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to try to um, put the zip tie. Like I said, let me show you guys what I've done. Is I put it back inside itself. Like, so, well, it's kind of hard to do it, but let me see if I can do it like this. There we go, with my right hand. And I just try to weave it right back. Especially with my zip ties being as big as they are. Um, oh, she's... She... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Both of these girls feel so much better. Okay, so I didn't use the caps. So I'm going to put the caps in my little um, uh, scavenger bucket, I'll call it. Um, and that is, like I said, I, all this polyfill I can use and these glass beads in a different project. So we're going to go ahead and dress Nevea in, let's do it like this, there we go, let's see if I can put it up like that, there we go, we're going to dress Nevea, let me see, make sure you guys can still see her, and I'm going to show off Faith next, but um, we're going to dress her in this cute little elephant and um, tigers and crocodile, little nature onesie just white and just pretty and soft and oh my goodness you guys okay so i i've come to terms i'm going to actually be taking weight out of all of my toddlers um that i've waited not any that's came to me like that the ones i've waited um ones i bought i've, I've waited i yeah ones i've basically done like macy and jordan um I'm not too sure about Ezra. Ezra might be left alone. Um, goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Well, we'll just use that as a pillow to prop her up in her clothes. There we go. That way you guys can maybe see her a little bit better. Anyway, um, any that I've waited, I am going to be um, de taking the weight out of my toddlers and definitely, definitely distributing it amongst my babies that need weight. Um, I don't actually have that many that needs weight. You would be surprised, but I do have um, some. Oh, she looks so cute. Okay. And I'm also putting her the, the little um, pajamas. And little pajamas that Isabella has on is from Kay. And also the pajamas that Gio has on is from Kay. And so... I'm going to put these little jammies, which is also from Kay on Nevea. And they're just white and they got little different colored flowers and they just look adorable. And I don't know if it's going to be too big for her, but you know, you never know. We're going to just try it. Oh, it looks like it's going to fit her nicely, you guys. Just very nicely. What do you guys think? I think it looks adorable. I am in love with these two babies. This is a way also that maybe, you know, you can kind of just rebond with some babies. I have been bonded with Nevaeh, and I have been bonded with Faith. I just, I haven't done a lot with Faith, but I think I'll do a lot more with her weighted. You know, like I said, I like my babies baited, my toddlers not so much. All right. And where to go? Here we go. The last piece of resistance. 
to show she is a cloud kid for sure. All right, let me just lay her up and let me get Faith oh, over here. Both of these two weighted girls, make sure they are in frame. Okay. All right. And if you guys like this video, I hope you enjoyed just kind of playing around with my dolls and, you know, doing what I could at home. Um, and if you did give us a big thumbs up, and well, while you're down there, watch, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And well, me and all my cloud kids, we just really love you guys. So, until the next video, everybody. Bye. Let me tell you about Rebecca's cloud kids. Magical parties. Imagine comes to life. Every day is a joy. No need to